Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nidus Anarchy series. I'm your host Adam, CIO and co-founder of Nidus, and today I want to talk about Llama 3, Meta AI's new LLM that just came out, and it beats everything. So the new Llama LLM that just came out from Meta is amazing. They've trained this thing like no one I've like nothing I've ever seen so far. It's it's pretty crazy. I've already started playing with it. It's way faster than GPT-4. Um, from a non-hallucination, how accurate the data is so far, also better. Um, from a code perspective, also better. So my, my limited testing so far, it's it's beaten GPT, it's beaten Claude, it's beaten Gemini. Um, I haven't played it against GPT-4 Turbo yet, um, but I'm working on that. But anyway, so Meta AI's Llama 3 has the training that they did on this model is insane. Let me just tell you about this stuff. So they have 350,000 H100 GPUs that were used to train this model. And they have, they've they released two different models yesterday. One is a 8 billion token set training. And then the other one was a 70 billion token set. And they're currently training a 405 billion token set, which means they're training the AI on 405 billion tokens, which is equivalent of like words and items that they're learning on. That's insane. That's huge. <laughs> like, now, back to the 350,000 H1 GPUs, each one of those right now costs a little over $40,000 each. And then the power consumption, I mean, their, their power bill is into the millions of dollars a month just to run these things, maybe even tens of millions. It's it's insane the amount of power and GPU processing that's going behind just to train these models. And what's awesome about the Llama 3 models is they're making them all open source. As soon as they have the model, they've been releasing them to the public. So yesterday I downloaded the Llama 3 model, installed it into my open Llama system, and I'm running it on my AI box, that one I showed you from my previous system, and it runs great, it's amazing. It's just so cool that, I mean, I never would have seen this happen. I never would have been like, man, Meta AI, Meta, Facebook, whatever, they're going to be the saviors of the whole AI ecosystem. I never would have thought that. They're so, they've been so closed about everything else, but this, wide open. And they're spending hundreds of millions of dollars on this stuff, and they're just releasing it to the public for free? That's amazing. Um, there was actually a Twitter... Or not, sorry, sorry, I don't think it was on Twitter, but it was on YouTube. It was a YouTube interview with Zuckerberg from Dwarkesh Patel. And it goes on for, I think, about an hour, maybe a little more. All about Llama 3 and about some other stuff that's going on within Metas too. But primarily it's about the launch of Meta 3 and what's involved and what's the future of it. Really great interview. Um, he goes into all kinds of infos of how they trained it, what they trained it on. And one of the coolest things that, that he asked that Zuckerberg mentioned was that what they found out in training this thing is that it wound up being way more beneficial to train it on code development more than anything else. So they, they leaned in super heavy in training it how to develop code. So for us developers, that's great, which means this new Llama 3 model is going to be even way better than the the previous Llama 2s and probably even better than Chad GPT 4s and stuff in code, which is going to make our lives easier. But also there's always the downside, which Dwarkesh asked him, like, hey, so is Llama 3 good enough to replace one of your junior developers that you have here at Meta? <laughs> and you can see Zuckerberg get a little, like, antsy, didn't really want to answer that question. He's like, oh, I don't really see it that way. And so finally, Dwarkesh is like, oh, so, okay, so then do you think that Llama 3 will make your, your guys 10 times more, um, you know, better at their job so they can do more work? And he's like, oh, I hope more than 10 times. So right there. That's when you can tell when he opens up and says, oh yes, one person will be able to do the work of 10 junior people uh, using this Llama 3 model. You, you know where that's going, right? Like they're not going to hire 10 more people so they can do 100 times the workload. <laughs> it just, that's not how that works. So they're already talking about that. Now, also what was pretty cool was uh, in the interview with with Patel, with, with Zuckerberg, was he asked him, you know, hey, so what's the negative consequences of AI? Like, where do you see this thing going? Like, he actually talked about what if it's being used to develop bioweapons? Because then we could we use this AI to kind of, do, does, he's saying like, does in the future, could you look at like the Petri dish and notice like, oh, my smallpox virus isn't doing better. Here's how to make it better. And how do we counter that? How do we prevent that from happening? And the thing is, which was mentioned as well, is yeah, that's absolutely could be done later on, even to a point now. We, I've played around with, um, I have a couple different, they're called like uncensored LLM models that I run locally where it will tell you anything. There, there's no safety measures on them at all. So 
Um, and what he's saying is like, yeah, that's definitely a real threat. But what Zuckerberg says that he sees a bigger threat, which is funny because this is what I mentioned earlier too, is AI versus AI attacking each other. So he's like, what's going to happen is you're going to have person with a better AI system attacking someone with a weaker AI system and it'll just take it over. It'll just dominate it. So it's really going to come down to from a hacker perspective and a security perspective is who has the better and bigger AI. And unfortunately right now, bigger is better because you need those machines and you need that power to be able to train these models. The more, the more tokens you can train on and the more tokens you can take in as input and more tokens you can process for your, for your, your um, responses, you get better results, more fine tuned, more accurate, all that kind of fun stuff. You take like the computer, the security one that I was talking about. I think someone with a weaker AI trying to hack into a system that is like protected by a stronger AI will succeed less. But yeah, I mean, it, it's some level. I mean, if you get a sufficiently bad actor and you don't have other AI that can sort of balance them um, and understand what's going on and what the threats are, then um then that could be a risk so i think that that's one of the things that we need to watch out for he definitely sees this as being an attack vector for sure from the security perspective and this is where i'm really focusing on is how do we get these ai systems to prevent other systems from breaching because no matter how big you are like goldman sachs when they hired a when they positioned a thousand of their employees and contractors to solely work on building ai systems for them that's awesome, but you're going to have the entire government of Russia, the entire government of China, the entire government of North Korea, of all these countries that don't like other countries, and you're going to have government-powered AIs attacking your systems. So if your company can't have an, doesn't have an AI system to prevent being attacked from foreign government AI systems and state-sponsored AI systems, you're not going to have a chance. So this kind of brings me back to the old movie from, I think it was like the mid-90s called Sneakers, awesome movie one of my favorite kind of like hacker movies and this guy made this box no one knows what's in the box it's kind of like the pulp fiction we don't know what's in the box there's a term for that i don't know what that's called but um for movie people you'll know what it is but it's the thing where you don't really know what it is but you know it's capable of so this box and sneakers is apparently capable of breaking past any firewall and any security measure and it can just get in and basically attack anything so really that's like an ai system right is this guy eventually made an ai system in this little box and that's kind of where we have to worry is whose hands is this going to get into because everyone's running with this. There's, there isn't a company out there that I know of that's actively building AI that doesn't think they're going to be attacked by AI. And they're there. So you have people developing systems like, Hey, how can we replace our call center people? And then you have other people building systems saying, Hey, how do we prevent AI from attacking us? And this side I think is going to be a lot more important than what people are, are really thinking about right now. So Llama 3, really awesome that it came out. Um, having tons of fun playing with it. You should definitely download it. There's there's a system called Open Llama. You can download that and just plug the Llama 3 model right into it. And you can use it right on your computer. It runs on everything. You can run on a Mac, on a PC, whatever. Um, obviously, the bigger GPU you have, the quicker it is and the more results you can get. But um, yeah, go play with it. It's all open source. So big thanks out to Meta for that. Never thought I'd say that. Um, but also... Get ready, because if you do not have an AI system in your enterprise that's building out infrastructure to help you make your jobs more efficient, but also to protect yourself from the AI attacks you're about to receive, you're going to be behind, and you don't want to be there. Later. Hey everyone, you going to Identiverse this year, May 28th and 29th in Las Vegas? We're going to be there and we're going to make it awesome. How? We're having a scavenger hunt where you can win awesome prizes and cool fun stuff like an invite to our private party. The way that you're going to find it is find these little poker chips all over the convention, tap your phone to them, and that's how you're going to start the scavenger hunt. Lots of cool prizes and not everyone's going to be able to make it. Hope you can do it. I'll see you guys there. Later.